Hey guys, welcome back to Travel Global. Today we'll show you the top 10 places to visit in Poland. Here at Travel Global, our goal is to bring you some of the most amazing travel destinations and tips as you adventure around the globe. So do subscribe to our channel and turn on that bell icon to add amazing new places to your travel bucket list. Number 10. Szczecin This small coastal town is definitely off the beaten track, at least for non-Germans. Szczecin is a mix of several cultural and architectural influences from several different ages. Reconstruction has been long and difficult here, which means that you'll find German-era Art Nouveau buildings alongside modern steel and glass buildings, both of which are alongside crumbled and overlooked ruins from the war. You'll want to stop at Bismarck Tower and the National Museum located primarily in the landed gentry house. And finally, there's the Ducal Castle, home of the Dukes of Pomerania Stettin for roughly 500 years. Number 9. Bialystok There are literally hundreds of historical buildings in Bialystok, 150 of which are registered relics of architecture. Braniki Palace is among the best of them with its Baroque gardens. Visitors will also want to see the House of Equerry, Lubomirsky Palace and the Neo-Gothic Holy Mary Cathedral along with several other palaces, buildings and churches. There are numerous villages and towns near to the city to explore, including Choroz, which is where the aristocratic Braniki summer home is, and Nizhin, a favourite of King Sigismund August. The Bialowieski National Park is nearby, as well as the Nawianski National Park and Biebzha Valley Marshes for nature lovers. Number 8. Lublin Lublin, located east of the Vistula, is another ancient city with a marketplace that may have dated back to the 6th century. Because it is located on Poland's eastern border, it became early on a line of defense against various invaders that destroyed the city over the centuries. It was also home to one of the largest Jewish communities in Poland. Evidence of Lublin connecting Western and Eastern cultures can be found at the Holy Trinity Chapel that blends Catholic and Russian Byzantine styles. But don't be fooled by the cobblestone streets and medieval architecture of the old town, as it boasts a lively arts and nightclub scene. Number 7. Tatra Mountains The Tatra Mountains and National Park form a natural border between Slovakia and Poland, though most of the mountain range falls into Slovakia. Because there are no borders between EU countries anymore, it is now possible to hike between countries easily. The Polish side of the park has over 270 kilometers of hiking trails. Poland's highest mountain, Risi, is located in the Polish Tatras. At 2,500 meters, it is the highest Tatras peak in either country that can be climbed without a park guide. The Tatras have waterfalls, streams, and mountain lakes. Morski Oko Lake is the largest lake in the park. Located deep within the park, it can only be reached after a two-hour hike through hills and a thick forest of Swiss pines. Number 6. Bielowieza Forest Reserve Europe's largest remaining section of the primeval forest that once covered much of the continent, the Bialowieza Forest Reserve has definitely earned its designation as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. The forest sits on the border between Poland and Belarus. A border crossing for hikers is actually located within the forest itself and covers an area of 1,400 square kilometers. Bialowieza is a bird watcher's paradise and aficionados can join bird watching tours headed by local ornithologists. But the forest is also home to bison and other large species. The small village of Bialowieza is within the forest, and so is the open-air museum of wooden architecture. Windmills, wooden huts, a tiny wood chapel, a barn, and even a banya, or a sauna. Number 5. Gdynia Gdynia is a port city located on Poland's Baltic coast. The Museum of the City of Gdynia tells the story of this modern city, a good starting place. Other attractions include the Gdynia Aquarium with an amazing array of ocean life, the Polish Navy Museum and World War II destroyer Bliskawika warship, and the Polish Maritime Museum aboard the 1909 Dar Pomorza tallship. Both museum ships are moored at Southern Pier. Tourists can stop by Kosciuszki Square and relax by the water fountain on the way back to the city centre. Those interested in antique cars won't want to miss the collection of cars, motorbikes and sidecars at the Motorization Museum. Number 4. Gdansk Gdansk is one of three cities in the Pomerania area that are popularly known as the Tri-City, Polish Trojmiasto. 
This city on the Baltic coast has a unique vibe that separates it from the rest of the country. It's a place that has been shaped by the wide variety of wealthy merchants attracted by its ports. In the heart of Gdansk lies the reconstructed main town with colorful facades, shops, and restaurants. The crowning glory is the Neptune Fountain, built in the 17th century. It serves as a symbol of the city. When you're done with St. Mary's Church or Aliwa Arch Cathedral, enjoy a pleasure boat cruise up river and a brew at a beer garden along the dock. Number 3. Warsaw Poland's capital was left in ruins after World War II. Almost 85% of its buildings had been turned to ash or systematically razed by Nazi forces. As soon as the war ended, the city embarked on a massive effort to reconstruct its historic center using original plans. As a result, the Baroque and Renaissance merchant houses you see today are perfect replicas of the originals. Although World War II also caused the loss of collections held by museums and palaces, the city is still home to over 60 museums today. In addition to art and history museums, Warsaw also offers some unusual choices, including the world's only Museum of Posters, a museum dedicated to the World War II Warsaw Uprising, a neon museum, and a museum of caricature. Number 2. Wrocław Pronounced Wrocław, Wrocław is the fourth largest city in Poland. Built in the medieval period, the city covers several islands and maintains several beautiful bridges and stunning architecture. Wrocław has been busy racking up recognition lately. In 2015, it was named one of the best cities to live by Mercer Consulting Company, and due to their high living standard, it's classified as a global city by GAWC. In 2016, the city became the European capital of culture, as well as the world book capital. Those who know Wrocław best will tell you not to miss the Salt Market Square, Centennial Hall, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, or the St. Mary Magdalene Church from the 13th century. Number 1. Krakow One of the oldest cities in Poland, Krakow was already inhabited back in the 7th century. Because the city escaped most of the World War II destruction that fell on other Polish cities, Krakow's old town center still retains its stunning medieval architecture. The Wawel Castle and the historic district of Kazimierz, also known as the Old Jewish Quarter, in the area, are both designated as UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Krakow is home to around 40 urban parks, including 19th century Planty Park, which covers an area of 21 hectares and forms a green ring around the city centre, and the Lasek Wolski Forest, which offers hiking and biking trails in a large woodland area just minutes from the city centre. On rainy days, Krakow's 28 museums are a must-see, especially the National Art Collection at the Wawel. So, which destination would you like to visit in Poland? Leave us a comment below and make sure that you like this video and subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our future travel videos. With that, I'll see you in the next video.